Get to Ariel Placencia, who is in Dallas County. And Ariel, you've been out since daybreak this morning. I know getting outdoors here in Dallas, there have been spotty rain really in the morning, but it has been relentless. Absolutely. And you know, you heard Mariel talking about those rain totals. You can imagine just how wet these roads are. Look at this semi that we've got to our left, all that water that it's kicking up right next to us. These roads, highways have taken on so much water since, as you said, we've been out here since 430 and the rain has not stopped. Now we are on 35E. The area around the design district, this area that we're kind of approaching right now, has been hit hard this morning. We have seen so many flooded intersections, stalled vehicles. If you look up ahead, we've got some flashing lights up on the right side here. Here's the other problem though, is that it's hard to see because visibility is so low. We've got our windshield wipers going on overdrive here. And that's what I've noticed on 35. We've been driving up it and we always say, hey, you know, if you see high water, turn around, don't drown. Sometimes you can't even see that there is water. It sneaks up on you up right until you're actually in it. And so it's been, we, we've been driving well below the speed limit. Just a quick reminder, I'm not driving. It's my wonderful photographer Thomas is doing that. So take it slow if you're out here on these highways because they are really, really wet. Now here's the thing too. A lot of stalled vehicles. We've seen stalled vehicles and debris in the road, and that has kept Dallas Fire Rescue's Swift Water Rescue Team very busy today. A lot of their calls, they told me, are people getting stranded in their cars and then they need help getting out. Listen to this. They just told me that they responded to about 200 high water incidents since 11 p.m. last night. Now, these include incidents that the Swift Water Rescue boats were needed and then ones where they were not. Sometimes those firefighters can just walk to the car and help get people out of their vehicles, but that just tells you how busy they have been. And then when we look at the forecast and what we're expecting this afternoon, they're gearing up for an even busier afternoon. I've been doing this probably in a Swift Water team for about 11, 12 years. And so it's probably one of the second or third worst that I've seen. Um, I know at nighttime, one time it started late at night, kind of the same thing, caught people off guard, but I think everybody wasn't anticipating this much rain this fast. Yeah, so one last live look here again. This is 35E in the design district. Now several of these off ramps were blocked this morning. Traffic seems to be moving okay right now, but Mark cannot emphasize enough just how wet it is out here. Boy, be safe on those roadways, Ariel. A great reminder. Ariel in Dallas County. Want to get to